feel quite resentful of the people in your life, though I don't think you're going to admit it quite so readily. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your confidence, your self-confidence, in leaving behind the pain, limiting stories, the limiting beliefs of the past, and in rising victorious in your true design life. Honey, you feel a bit resentful of the people in your life if you're truly, completely honest about it. You give and 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 they take and take and take and take and take. When you need them, they're not necessarily there. You're not that person that even asks for that much help anyway, but you always feel alone. When you need help, it feels as if there's nobody there. You feel resentful that it's like these people are just taking from you. They need you in order to make everything work and... <sighs> And I know you don't you don't actively think about it this way. But can you be honest with yourself for a second here? Or do you feel way too nasty to even consider the fact that you that 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 maybe it's time to start saying no. Start saying no to some of the requests and the demands that people have of you. Start rejigging the way you relate to other people. So that you're not always this defender of the world and savior of everyone thing. And I know, and you may not again want to admit this, that it gives you a sense of purpose. It gives you a sense of fulfillment-ish. It's a kind of false one, I have to admit, if it comes with anger and resentment, honey. Um, it gives you this sense of being needed. You love to be needed. You're not sure who you would be if people didn't need you. Can you admit that to yourself yet? And I, I feel for you because in some ways, some of this just came from childhood, came from the fact that you did have to step up to the plate, possibly even before you were ready to, before you were grown up, you suddenly had to be parent to maybe siblings, maybe uh, cousins. And it was just considered to be the norm. You were the most together one, and maybe you were even the oldest one. And everybody just kind of leaned on you, leaned on you, leaned on you. And you and that's and that's how it continues to be to this day. Except you're tired, you're feeling drained, you're feeling angry, you're feeling like you lost your life. Let's put it let's put it that way that your childhood was taken from you, that you haven't really lived at all. You've been living life for everybody else, and you're getting fed up of it. Except you don't want to say that because how will they survive without you? How how, how will they cope? Except this is the thing. Everybody is powerful in their own right, my love. Everybody is created in the image and likeness of the divine, not just you. They are powerful. They just haven't had to be. My youngest daughter, it took her, it took her a bit longer than the rest to learn how to speak. And why? I even took her to a speech therapist. I was getting slightly worried because we talk in my family, right? And I took her to a speech therapist. And, and, and the speech therapist did mention, hey, is it possible that her older two sisters are speaking so much for her that, they, that she doesn't need to speak? And I realized that it was true. Within six weeks of that meeting with, with, the, <laughs> with the speech therapist, she started speaking and we haven't managed to make her stop at all since then. And I wonder if it's like that in your life too, where, yeah, ultimately, if you continue to make yourself available to be the support and the savior and the defender of everyone, then they will continue to lean on you to be their savior and their defender and their everything. But guess what? If you stepped away a little bit, if you took time for yourself, they would find a way to survive with or without you. And that might hurt you because a lot of your life is dependent on believing that without you, people will fall apart. But honey, the life you desire, the free, fulfilled, financially abundant, the love-drenched life lived on purpose, where you're having fun, life that you desire will not be found whilst you continually dampen yourself out, trying to be everything to everybody except yourself. You need to fall back in love with yourself. You need to put yourself in an environment where you regain your confidence, your, your self-worth, your self-belief. Because it's all caught up now in being all things to everyone else. It's time to wake up to who you really, truly are, my love. And I can help you with that. I can help you with handling the, 
the resentment and the anger that will possibly even come up more to the surface when you start to love yourself better because you will realize just how much of your time you've given away to people who are quite capable of taking care of themselves. And that may really anger you. But then the anger will be directed within yourself for allowing it to happen. But come and be with me in the incubator. Come and work with me. Let's transition gently to a more love-drenched life. A life where, yes, you are of service to, because I know you're someone who wants to make a difference, no doubt about it. But I'm not sure that you're making a difference to the people you're actually called to right now. You're just making a difference to the ones that happen to be around you and who have gotten used to leaning in on you. I'm not saying that you should never be of assistance to anybody in your world again, no. But I'm saying that you're coming, you're, you're giving from an empty well. It's tiring. It feels draining. You feel resentful. Because you're doing it from the wrong place. Come into the Abundance Library, not the Abundance Library, although the Abundance Library is part of it. Come into the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. It is for spiritual people, driven spiritual people who know they're meant for more, who know they're born to prosper, who feel stifled by self-doubt, by low self-esteem, by all of this stuff that I'm talking about here. It's time for you to prosper wildly, to truly step into true design prosperity for you. And you're not going to do it whilst you continually put everybody else ahead of you all of the time. Come on in. Go over to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash deliberate millionaire. Go join in. Come and be part of our community. We are driven people. We are determined to live to the fullness of our potential. Come and join in the conversations. Come and share what's going on with you. Let us help you see things differently. Let me help you see things differently. Come and be part of the weekly calls. Come and take part in the programs and immerse yourself in a different way of doing life. It will change everything for you. You deserve so much more than this, but are you willing to allow yourself to receive it? Come on. You could reach so much, so many more people. You can make so much more of a difference when you're living in your true design. Come on in to the Deliberate Millionaires. Okay? See the link around this video. Share this video with somebody else and then come join in. Okay? Much amazing love. It's your time for fortune restoration and for fortune expansion. It's your time. Come on now. Much love. Share this video, okay? Bye.